F you, pigeon. You wanna go? That's what I thought. That's what I thought, you coward. Hey, let's go, hey. <laughs> well, hello everybody, welcome to another vlog. Today we are in downtown Stewart. I just dropped off my MRI discs. They said they'll be calling for an appointment here soon, so that, that's very good news. Anyways, I'm gonna head back to the heart of downtown. I'm gonna show you the old uh, Pokemon stomping grounds for me. So anyways, see you all in a sec. All right, everybody, we are officially in downtown Stewart. Now, I am recording my screen for Pokemon as well, so you guys can kind of see what's around here. Now, I have actually physically created some of these stops, this one being my prized possession. So, I figured today we'll go kind of walk around some of the old stopping grounds. I used to play here, like, every week, like, several times a week, probably. I'm excited to be back. Oh, we're hatching an egg. Let's see. So, we're going to go explore, have some fun. It's a really hot day out here today. Yeah, I think we're going to go to that uh, little park first, so... Let's go. All right, y'all, so I see my first big change. This used to be a mulligans, I think, and it used to have like a giant sailfish on the outside, which is clearly not there anymore. I might be tripping on that. I'm gonna figure out for sure, but I'll, I'll put it in the text. Also, whilst we're walking to the main hub of where we used to play Pokemon, um, I have several runs to update you on. So here are the stats from all of the runs. It might be two, it might be three. I'm not exactly sure, but either way, we are approaching quickly the tri-stop area. The tri-stop area, you might be asking? Yes, this bench. Many of hours were spent literally just sitting here. So here we are at the tri-stop area. This used to be the spot. You'd lure up three of these stops right here. And just to show you guys, like this is kind of what it looks like. There's three stops right on top of you here. So it's a really cool place. And you know, a lot of memories here more than anything. Um, so this is just gonna be like a little memory tour. I guess we're back, so we can always, you know, come back and play more here. <laughs> but yeah, this is the tri stop. So bye. So you can kind of see, we'll go out to the docks in a second, but you can kind of see the bridge over there. So we'll get some cool scenics of that. But we're approaching right now an old park. Uh, well, this is where I added the basketball court. So some fun memories over here. I don't really know how to hopscotch, but we're gonna do our best, okay? I don't even know if this is on camera. All right, we're, I'm, I've never done this before. I think I think you go one foot in the the ones, right? Like, uh, mm, 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 mm. I think I win. I think that's it. I could definitely be off on that. Don't don't judge me of my lack of hopscopping skills or whatever it's called. So unsure if you can even see me at the moment, but it doesn't really matter as long as you can hear my voice. This is the big bridge. You drive over this to get to downtown Stewart. And so there were some like structural issues with this bridge, but I think they fixed it. There were like some cracks in it. I don't have my running equipment now, but I would love to someday do a whole big run of all of downtown Stewart. And I don't know, maybe take you guys with me. I have like the chess GoPro thing. So it is possible. We'll, we'll see if we do that someday. Let's continue on. Cause you can kind of get underneath the bridge a little bit and I'd love to take you guys there. So let's do it. I don't know if it shows on video just how massive this bridge really is but it is huge and honestly quite intimidating to walk under, especially given the old structural issues, but hey, we don't need to talk about that, right? <laughs> there's a whole walking path physically, but then you can also go totally different routes. Like there's a couple different options for you here. I'm not sure how deep this goes. I've actually, I don't think this was here back when I used to play. Like this is kind of new, but it looks like it goes pretty far back there. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit, but like, Oh gosh, there's people, I don't wanna look at them, but man, that goes really far back there. So far, it has been really cool just to see everything that like, I don't know, I mean, there's a lot of new stuff too, so I'm kind of learning everything, uh, which I do think there is a new Pokestop here. So we're gonna go ahead and spin that together. I gotta get my buddy out though. So I'm, I'm trying to get those Larvesta candies, you know, kind of difficult, freaking little turd. All right, I fed the little turd, great. And so you can kind of see the stop. Oh, it's that healthy trail thing. It was just exactly what I was talking about. So there's like a whole trail system here. And so you can walk. I, I wonder how long it is, or maybe we could run it one day. Who, who knows? History. I'm curious what this leads to, so we're gonna go this way. Oh my gosh, look, the, the water is really shallow right now. Oh, we got a bird. We love our nature sightings. There's a spooky path. We're definitely walking down. Oh my gosh, this is jank. I don't know if I've ever walked over here. Hey, yo, it leads to another dock. Dude, I'm so curious where this goes. Uh, so this is a train track, by the way, another bridge. This kind of takes you like a back way. So if this bridge ever failed, you could technically still get back to like the main area, the main land through this road right here. Just a little bit slower. 
back to the exploration. Oh, I see a pigeon. Frick pigeons. F you, pigeon. You want to go? That's what I thought. I thought you coward. You coward. Me and pigeons have a long love-hate relationship. Not even love, just hate relationship, really. Oh my gosh, I've done this before. I'm just stupid. I forgot this existed. And also that restaurant looked like it got renamed to Hudson. Uh, maybe it always was. Maybe they just got a new logo. I'm not sure. But de definitely new logo, if nothing else. All right, all right, all right. So what we're going to do next is we are going to actually turn around, go back the way we came, and I'm going to take you on the boardwalk. It's not really much of a boardwalk. It's more just a giant dock. But we're going to take you to the giant dock that goes out on the water, and I will see you guys there. So now we are headed over in that direction to that dock over there, and that's actually going to take us more into the heart of downtown. So let's go ahead and get there. Hi, bird. All I'm going to say is it's hot. It's just a blistering 92 degrees right now, casually humid. Welcome to Florida. A lot of people with boats, and we've done this ourselves several times, you can actually boat from where we are all the way to these docks, free parking here, and then you can go to restaurants like this, and you can eat, you can drink, have a good time, and then you have enough time to walk around after to sober up, and then, you know, boat back home, so. So we have finally made it out to the dock, so we're just gonna go ahead and walk down the whole thing, and I think the end part of it is actually a floating dock, so it kind of's got some, you know, shakiness going on with it, so. And to put it in perspective, that's how far away we are from the bridge now. We were just under it, like, I mean, well, for you, two seconds ago, but for me, like 10, 15 minutes ago. Oh, and then here's kind of an outwardly view of actual downtown Stewart. I feel like I'm just throwing a bunch of words at the camera and just hoping they make sense. Editing JP, how are we doing? Okay, that's fair, fair enough. I feel like I'm honestly just taking you guys on a little date right now. So, welcome to the date with JP, guys. I will also say another prized possession of mine is I made this dock a pokey stop as well and it also turned i think that uh building right there into a gym so go me now it is time to go on to well actually no this is not floating at all never mind it's concrete oh no baby it is floating now i'm confused one sec let me get a feel for it oh yeah this is floating for sure this is a floating dock but it's all like concretey so it's kind of weird well yeah you can definitely feel the movement when you're jumping around on it whoa hey yo Oh my gosh, no, there was just a turtle right here. Please come back. Dude, it was a giant turtle. <sighs> Devastated. All right, I'll go back to the scenic shot. I don't know what is compelling me to do this, but I just kind of want to run to the end and run back. So let's do it, boys. <sighs> Get some exercise in. <sighs> Gotta hold my phone though. It's gonna fall out of my pocket. And here we are at the end of the bridge. There's a quote here saying, happiness is a butterfly. Try to catch it like every night. It escapes from my hand into moonlight. Lana Del Rey, shout out to you. If you guys can even hear me, I might be out of the range. This is pretty far. If you guys can't hear me, I'm doing a big wave to say hey. Back to you. Watch out, guys. I'm always roaming around these parts. And here's some more shade. Now, if they do some like concerts here occasionally where they'll have like the band right here and you can kind of sit and watch them. During uh, Christmas time, they'll put up a giant Christmas tree right here. So it's pretty, pretty neat. I'll have to show you that when December rolls around. But there's only one more thing I want to show you whilst we're downtown. And then I'm getting the heck out of here because I'm hot. The last thing I want to show you is actual downtown. I'm going to step on the road for a second. But the actual downtown is this whole strip right there. So here you can find, you know, restaurants, little shops. And there's like a little ice cream place, some kind of like, um, touristy shops. Sure you can get like the classic like I love downtown Stewart shirt or something like that. And there's like a little theater right here where some people like do performances and stuff. Again here's like your little shops and stuff. Got sea turtle there. And um, for the Pokemon players this is where like most of the spawns are at on this strip right here. And there's a bunch of stops like scattered so you can literally drive down this because it's only like five miles an hour anyways and use your little catcher thing to catch them all. <laughs> so, I think I found the ice cream place, guys. <laughs> I think this is where they moved to, because I don't think they used to be over here. Well, we just got through that strip, but I did forget to show you guys, there's cool little fountains around here. This one's like, eh, okay. But I parked right next to the other one that's a lot cooler. So let's go ahead and head over that way while we head back to the car. So now we are on the back side, and you can see the stores just continue to go on. There's just, I've never even been in like 90% of these. Got some, interesting ginormous art here i can't even get it all in frame from where i'm at but it's huge come in we are awesome oh thanks here's that little theater building entrance i think i think you can actually enter on both sides but i think that's the main entrance 
You can see, I think this is all like the big, well, big name people they had come perform here on the ground. So that's pretty neat. I have no idea if it's factual, but no idea if it's factual or not, but apparently we were the most beautiful city in 2008. Congrats guys, you did it. Like over 10 years ago. I will say one big thing about Stewart is all the sailfish. Lots of the sailfish around here. Kind of a bumming situation right now. Well, one, one here are the train tracks that go through downtown Stewart. Just absolutely massive. Uh, apparently they can go pretty fast too. But two, the sad news is the freaking fountain's not on. How am I supposed to get a cool fountain shot if it's not even on? Hey, let's go, hey. <laughs> All right, they wanted to be on camera there, I guess, but so here's the fountain, it's not on, which kind of sucks, but it is a cool fountain, especially when it's on. Like, I think the water comes right out of the uh, thing's face, but regardless, it is time to get back to the car because I am sweaty. We're gonna get some gas, we're gonna get some food. Well, hopefully y'all had a good time on our little date, so here we go, time to go home. And that is where we're gonna end today's vlog. Actually, this has been a pretty long one, all things considering. Again, Michigan trip coming up here very soon. Get ready for that, it's gonna be an absolute blast. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe if you're new, as it helps out a ton, and it's absolutely free. And as always, my friends, stay awesome.